Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to make a creative travel journal in Canva so that you can document your adventures and treasure your memories. Okay, let's get right on to it! So just as usual, we're going to go to our search bar and type in journal. And from the drop down, we're going to select see all so that we can have more options to choose from. And here we are on the templates page. Feel free to choose any templates you'd like to use or modify. Um, this one. And then let's click on customize this template. And here we are. In case you'd like to change your template, you can always do that by going to the template section over here in the side panel. And we can actually search for something specific using the search bar right here. So let's say, for example, travel. And here we are. Yeah, feel free to choose any template you'd like to use. All right, so we're going to get started now. Um, I really like this design, but I'm afraid we're going to have to change it to something that would fit travel. So we're going to go to the elements section and type in travel to see what kind of elements we can use. So we have these elements. Choose elements that you'd like to use on your design. As for me, we're going to have to delete everything first and replace it with relevant um, elements. I'm going to filter these out, so I'm going to click on this icon, um, select free and apply filters. And these are some of their free elements, free graphic elements. Let's use this one just as an example. And then we're going to change our background color to suit our theme. Blue is nice, so we're going to stick with that. And we're going to keep on adding designs till we're happy with it. Um, okay, you know what? Why don't we set this as background? How about paper? Ah, this one would do. Right click, replace background, and there. And then I'd like to search for paper graphics or graphic elements. And then Maybe use this one. We're going to send it backwards. And this one backwards as well. And then... Duplicate journal. Make this one a bit bigger. Perhaps we should change the uh, the font for this one. And then set the spacing. Oh, spacing for this one. Adjusted spacing, I mean. <laughs> Make sure it's in the middle. And then duplicate this one and type in my. Oh, my. We're going to send it backwards first. So that we can access this text over here. Maybe we can change its color to something like that, or like this. And then this one would be 
dark brown, as well as this one. Okay, great. Now we're going to look for more elements that are trip related. So, Okay, that should do it. So I think I'm quite happy with our cover. Now we're going to deal with our content. So let's get started. I'm going to delete these elements. And I'm going to keep that there. Perhaps we can adjust the color. I think it's a bit too dark. Let's make it a bit brighter. Something like that. Yeah, that should do it. And then we're going to delete this one. Delete this one as well. Delete a couple of these lines. Move this over here. And then perhaps we could place this over here. Because this will be where... Um, we can place pictures from memories of our trip. So I'd like to copy this and put this over, maybe over here. And then adjust this. Send it backwards. Oh, it's already, yeah, it's already at the back. And then perhaps we could change the color of this is something that would suit our theme from the previous page. So we're going to do that. And yeah, maybe this color would be okay. And we're going to change this text to travel pics. And yeah. Perhaps we could delete a couple of these and move this over here and adjust it. There. And then change this one, my thoughts. Change the color of this element. Oh, and we're going to make sure that it's um, properly aligned to this element too. Okay, and then we're going to move these line elements like that. Can we extend them? Oh yes, yes we actually can. So let's do that. Maybe we should just copy and paste. Or why can't... There. And perhaps add some designs to make it look a bit more interesting. Okay, that should do it. Just a very simple one. And yeah, by the way, you can actually just duplicate this page so that you'll have plenty of pages. And there you go. Once you're happy with your design, go ahead and click on the share button above and then click on download. Then select your preferred file type as well as other download settings. And then finally, go ahead and click on download. And there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.